Students in the capital struggling with the cost of alcohol have a reprieve, but they'll uh, have to go hunting for rats to get it. The Victoria University Science Society has joined forces with Gareth Morgan in an initiative to help rid Wellington of rats. The project named Beer Tap offers a voucher for a free drink at the university's bar for every rat caught. Science Society President John Musters here in the studio to talk about it. Interesting idea. Who came up with it? Um, well, uh, about a month, ago, month or two ago, my girlfriend and I went to an Enhancing the Halo meeting, which was particularly about trapping and how we can get more people engaged with trapping. And we came up with the idea of all of the untapped students, a lot of them are ecology students, they're very keen on, on conservation. And we thought, well, if we can incentivise them as well, we'll really be onto a winner. Right, so then had to find someone prepared to provide the incentive. Well, we were in the right room. We were in the right place at the right time. We were sitting there with, with some people from the Morgan Foundation, and so we said, what kind of support would you be able to have for this? Um, we had some uh, talks with them over the next few weeks and managed to push it out in time for the new semester. When does it actually start, then? It doesn't actually start until Thursday. On Thursday evening, we're having a, an, a sort of official launch in, in the bar up at the university, in the Hunter Lounge. Um, and we'll be giving out the first 50 traps then with 50 to follow shortly thereafter. So they have to be caught in the trap? Um, they don't specifically. If you happen to already have a trap, um, you're already trapping for rats at your place, that's absolutely fine. You do have to be a student, though. Right, and you have to bring along your dead rat? You take it to one of the biology labs at Victoria. Um, there'll be some research done, which is just an extra sort of extra bit on top of the project that we get to do some research with these rats on population dynamics and feeding habits. No. Students are clever people and they're going to think rats are very fecund and breathe, breed fast. Suppose one of them starts a rat farm. I can't imagine that happening. Um, a lot of the wild rats, they're, they're not very nice. They're not very pleasant animals. Um, they're quite vicious. They're, they're, they have a good go at scratching you to pieces. Uh, I don't advise it at all. <laughs> so you're pretty sure that won't happen? I doubt it'll happen, yeah. Okay. And where are you expecting the rats to come from? Well, a lot of students live um, in places like Arrow Valley, which is you know, dark and damp, and hopefully there are rats hanging around there. Um, I say hopefully, really, we hope that there aren't rats there, but um, the whole point is to clean up Wellington's predator problem. Yes. Have you started this with an, est an estimate of, of how many rats there might be that you're going to end up with? It's one of the things that we don't know, and some of the research that we'll get to do with the rats will help us fill in those blanks. What are they eating? How many are there? Um, we we putting out 100 traps, that's our only limit at the moment on, on how many rats will be brought in. People maybe will catch one a week, maybe they'll catch 10 a week, we're not really sure. Right. Uh, is there any concern that you'll be depriving somebody else or some other part of the animal chain, if you like, of its food supply? I mean, you pro-cat and anti-rat, as it were. <laughs> Um, there's, there's not a lot of evidence to suggest that cats really take on rats. Um, a, an adult rat will really give a cat a run for its money. So that's not really um, something we're concerned about. Also, I mean, if, if you look at the, the overall picture, we're, we're trying to act in, in the interests of New Zealand's native flora and fauna. Um, rats aren't supposed to be part of that, that chain, and they're depriving a lot of native species of their food supplies and, of course, eating them directly. Mm, and, of course, rats and cockroaches survive when everyone else doesn't, don't they? So we're hoping that we can uh, make a dent on the rat population, yeah. Indeed. Thanks for joining us, talking about it. Talking to Joan, John Muster, who's president of the Victoria University Science Society. Would you get a shandy for a big mouse? I don't know. <laughs>